Hi, I'm Josh with MakerBot Customer Support. I'm here today to show you how to change the XYZ motor cable on your MakerBot Replicator 2. First, unload filament and turn off your bot. Then remove the filament guide tube and spool holder and unplug the power and USB cables. We don't want any of these things to get in the way during the repair. The right panel is also going to get in our way. Use your fingers or the 5mm hex wrench that came with your bot to remove the six big bolts holding it on. Set the panel and the bolts aside. Unplug the cable connector from the x-axis motor. Use a hex wrench to pry out the metal dowel holding the cable in, into this slot on the side of the gantry. Then pull out the motor cable. The cable is attached to the frame of the Replicator 2 with a zip tie here. Be really careful when you clip the zip tie. You don't want to damage the other cable there. Use a pair of tweezers or pliers to pull the zip tie out of, it, out of its clip. The cable routes through the three metal clips in the corner here. Try to slide it out without bending the clips back or unclipping the other cables. Unplug the connector from the Y-axis motor in the back corner. This wire routes through two more of the, those metal clips. Slide the wires out from underneath them. Now we're going to flip the bot on to its left side so we can get at the mighty board. All the electronics are under this metal cover. Use the 2.5 millimeter hex wrench that came along with your bot to remove the four bolts holding it on. Set the bolts in the cover aside. Unplug the connector from the Z-axis motor and slide the cable out from under this clip. Now unplug the XYZ cable connector from the mighty board and pull the Z-axis axis section out of the cable from behind the mighty board. Slide out the x-axis section of the cable from under the clip here. Slide out the y-axis section of the cable from under the clip here. When the cables are unclipped you can carefully pull them through the holes in the corners of the bot. Plug the new cable into the connector on the mighty board. Find the z-axis section of the cable and route it underneath the mighty board. Slide it underneath the clip here and plug it into the z-axis motor. The middle section of the cable is the y-axis section. Push it into the main part of the bot by pushing it through this hole at the right back corner. Then slide the cable under the clip. The last section is the x-axis section. Push it through this hole at the front right corner and slide the cable under the clip here. That's everything we need to do underneath the bot. Put the cover back over the mighty board and screw the four bolts onto the posts on the, at the corners. Now we can flip the bot upright again. Find the Y-axis section of the cable near the back right corner and plug it into the Y-axis motor. Slide the cable underneath the clips below the motor. Remember to avoid bending the clips back. Route the X-axis section of the cable through the clips in the front corner. We're going to need a new zip tie in order to clip the cable into the top of the frame here. Bend the end of the zip tie like a fish hook and slide it through the black plastic piece here. Make sure to grab both the new x-axis motor cable and the y-axis end stop cable that routes through the same clips. Tighten the zip tie around both of the cables and then trim it. Slide the cable into the slot with the x-axis section of the end stop cable. Push the metal dowel back into the slot with a hex wrench. Make sure the slit in the side of the dowel points out away from the cables and that you push the dowel all the way in. Everything's installed now, so we can put the side panel back on. Use your fingers to tighten the six bolts back on. And that's how you replace the XYZ motor wiring harness for your MakerBot Replicator 2. 
If you have any other questions for us, please contact us at support at makerbot.com.